When starting Maptitude, you are presented with a Quick Start. The Quick Start facilitates fast and easy map creation, as well as the ability to access maps that have been created already. We will be using the Create a Map Wizard today. to create a new map. So after, so let's go ahead and create a map of my own data. After choosing that and clicking OK, I will identify the data that I would like to map, choose the sheet, and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and review my match fields. Those are correct. So I will click the Next button to go to the next screen in the wizard. And I'm going to locate the records in this file based upon an address. So after having clicked Next and providing a file name for the new file that I'm creating of my own data, I'm going to choose to create labels based upon the name field in my data and click Finish. So Maptitude creates a map of my own data that have labels. So you can create a buffer that is a circle very easily in Maptitude. I'm going to start by zooming in to my area of interest. It happens to be in Abilene, Texas. And using the freehand radius tool, which is located here at the bottom of the screen in the drawing toolbar, I can move my mouse over the location that I want to be my center point. In this case, that is this particular point that I mapped, and I want to define a radius of 15 miles. After clicking OK, Maptitude draws that radius onto the map, and when I right click on that radius, and I will do that using the pointer tool, I have the option to export to Excel. When choosing Export to Excel, I'll enter a file name. Maptitude provides demographic data for that circular area and opens that file as an Excel file. So you can see that here, a listing of cities and towns within that circle, a listing of my data within the circle, as well as some basic census demographics. I'll go ahead and close that. And I'm just going to delete that circle in order to show you another approach, which would be to draw an area of my own shape. I can do this using the freehand shape tool by right clicking and moving my mouse to define my area and then double, double clicking to close that. So I've made this polygon uh, with the shapes that are relevant to me. And now I can obtain information even for that area, again, by right-clicking on that area that I created and choosing Export to Excel, entering an Excel file name, and Maptitude estimates the data for that area as well. So I'm getting a, that list of cities, all of my points that are within the area on the screen, and then estimates of specific demographic fields. So I'll go ahead and remove that area as well. Another way to define areas on your map is to use the Click Buffers toolbar, which is located in the Tools menu under Analysis and then Buffers Toolbar. 
with this toolbar, I can add points wherever I want. So if I don't have my own layer already, I can use the tool to add my own points. So I'm going to do this using the Add Temporary Points tool and by clicking in a couple of key locations where I have an interest in obtaining data. Once I've added my points to the map, I'm ready to create buffers. And I can do so using the Create Buffers button in the Buffers toolbar. I do have the option of saving the points that I clicked on the screen to a new layer. If I click Yes, I'm prompted for a file name. And then that Buffers dialog box comes up. I'm going to create three buffers, so I'm going to type in the distances as one, three, and five. And the default unit is miles. I could change this if I wanted to. I will leave this as is uh, for now. I also have the option to calculate demographics. I'll go ahead and check that as well as turning on the option to create a report. And when I click OK, I am prompted for a name for those buffers. Maptitude draws those on the screen around my areas and calculates demographics for those buffers, as well as creating a report with that information. So I have a nice map here and then information on each of my buffers for a variety of fields. I can obtain information on any of these buffers using the info tool in the tools toolbox. This is the lowercase i in the blue circle. So I can get that information and do that for the buffers itself. So I'm able to, for each buffer, see the information specifically related to that distance threshold in this case of three to five miles. Having taken a look at that, I want to also create some buffers on these highways that are here. And I can do this using the Add Temporary Lines tool. And I'm just going to roughly trace this highway along. So I'm interested in this corridor in particular, and I want to obtain some information on this corridor. So it's kind of hard to see the lines I just drew. I'm going to change their style using the Click Style button in that Buffers toolbar. It's going to make these lines are really fat red so that they stand out on the map. So now you can see that line that I drew. So I want to know how big of an area there would be around these particular this particular path to encompass 15,000 people. So I'm going to go ahead and create my buffer. I will save my lines again. And in order to create this buffer to encompass the 15,000 people, I'm going to select the option to build to value. I can then enter the value based upon whatever field and layer I want. And also, again, calculate demographics and create a report. So in this case, I'm very easily able to see how large that area extends to be able to encompass 15,000 people from this particular area that I'm interested in. And back on my map, I can see that as well.